Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we have some great news. Well, Windows 11 24H2 has been released to the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program and basically Microsoft is closing in on releasing Windows 11 24H2 for the general public later this year. So if you are enrolled in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program, you can check that out in the Windows Insider program page and settings and see if you are enrolled in the release preview channel. If you go into Windows Update, you should get this new banner which says Windows 11 version 24H2 is available. Then you can click on see what's in this update to check out all the new improvements that will be added in this. Basically in this version we don't have anything new compared to version 23H2 because it is just the RTM build which basically means that this version will be the version that will be installed on new devices, new Windows devices from Dell, Lenovo, AMD and so on. And of course we have all the improvements from previous versions 22H2 and 23H2. But the big features are going to start to roll out and be tested in the Windows 11 24H2 version and they will start releasing to the general public later this year maybe in September or October. So I'm just going to go and click on download and install this version and you can do this as I've said if you are enrolled in the release preview channel of the Windows Insider program basically the next channel after main release. So for example on my main computer I am enrolled in the release preview channel and I'll also do the upgrade to 24H2. These versions that Microsoft releases are only some basis for new features that they will test out. So as I've said here the RTM build was released recently and now Microsoft is starting to test out new features on Windows 11 24H2 by releasing it on the release preview channel. What I find interesting is that Microsoft didn't release this on the beta channel first, but they released it to the release preview channel. So that is interesting. Maybe that could mean that on the beta channel, we may see new features really soon. But also in version 24H2, Microsoft introduces some new features compared to other versions. For example, the new scrollable quick settings feature or the new ability to read archives with other formats in addition to zip, for example, 7-zip or tar. And one thing that Microsoft notes is that the new AI features such as Recall that was announced earlier this week will not be available on our PC after installing this update today because of course they require a Copilot Plus PC. Also as part of this update, Microsoft is also evolving the Copilot experience on Windows as an app that will be pinned on the taskbar. This enables users to get the benefit of a traditional app experience including the ability to resize, move and snap the window. So as a reminder, all you need to do in order to get this update, just check for updates by having this slider turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes, and improvements as they roll out. And this is how you can get to Windows 11 version 24H2 if you are enrolled in the release preview channel. So in the next period, of course, I'm going to make videos about new features once they are announced, once they are found or tested, and we'll see what Windows 11 24H2 has to offer for us this year. So I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.